greetings. I am Dr. Nikhil Kilpadi, Director, Airports and Airlines in Frost and Sullivan. And I'm excited to welcome all our viewers to this interview focused on a topic of immense importance and relevance in the aviation industry, which is diversity and inclusion. Diversity extends beyond the visible differences such as race, gender, or ethnicity, but rather encompasses a wide range of backgrounds, beliefs, and perspectives. Inclusion, on the other hand, ensures that every individual feels valued, respected, and is given the right opportunities regardless of their differences. The intersection of these ideals is where we create a more empowering world for all. Our speakers today are trailblazers and leaders in the aviation industry and bring in their unique experiences and insight on the subject. Let me begin by welcoming our first eminent guest and speaker. Uh, I welcome Dr. Engineer Suad. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for having me today in a very important topic. And hopefully it will, will go smoothly. Thank you. Um, a quick, uh, just a few words about Dr. Suad. Uh, Dr. Suad is a highly accomplished personality in the field of aviation. She also holds the distinction of being the first ever UAE female aircraft engineer. Besides her doctoral qualifications in aerospace, she also holds an honorary doctorate for the role of women in leadership. She has also been working in the field of aviation engineering for more than 11 years. So we are privileged to have Dr. Suad on the show. Uh, if I may begin with uh, the first question to her. Uh, doctor, what is your personal perspective on diversity and inclusion? Well, to be honest, when, when we are talking about the diversity, inclusion, and uh, it's very important to understand when we have it in either company, management, and team, the positive and effective uh, energy from the employee, it will be different. And even when you will... Um, I remember we did once a survey and we noticed that the high satisfaction when, when you implement the diversity inclusion in the workplace, uh, because different culture, different religion, different background, different gender, when they are looking to uh, the same problem, they come with different and bigger uh, solution. So to implement diversity inclusion in the workplace, it's uh, a healthy environment for the company and a higher satisfaction from uh, the department and high performance from the employee. Whether you compare it with a different area, which they are considering only one um, gender or one team. So for me, it's, uh, it's very important, first of all, to understand what does it mean diversity inclusion in any environment and tough environment like the aviation industry, especially where I come from a uh, technical background it's very important to understand why we want female uh, beside, uh, because it was uh, for a long time, it's a male dominated. When I remember 18 years when I was in the industry so far, uh, the increasing of the percentage uh, of women in this industry, it's very low because they don't understand their opportunity and how the environment is being changed compared to 18 years ago. Thank you, Dr. Suad. Uh, in fact, that your answer leads me to the next uh, question, which I'm very eager that, and I'm sure the viewers are eager as well. Uh, as the first UAE woman aircraft engineer, please, can you share any personal learning that will inspire others? It's very important. That during my journey in the aviation industry, it's you have to understand something. It's like you have to read, to learn. It's no harm to fail to uh, ask the expert, because a lot of people think when you are entering to the field and have this amazing title with an aircraft engineer, pilot, air traffic controller, you can name the job under the aviation industry. I think the most important that we need from to learn from the expert and, and no harm to ask a question, and most important to uh, treat each other as a human, not as per our gender. So this is what, when uh, the difficulty and the, the challenges, any people can enter, when they enter to this industry, they can fa face it. But the most important, they know 
what they are entering to because as i said it's a tough industry but is very if you are passionate about it you you will learn and you will grow within industry wherever you are uh, your job title so this is the most important you have to be passionate you have to read you have to be an under education for all your career life and the most important to understand what is required from you and how you can support the new generation that's very inspiring doctor in, in fact the part where you said uh, where keep asking questions no matter uh, you know who you are or which uh, gender or which uh, uh, ethnicity so i think that's the best learning uh, for me uh, you did mention about the that it, that technical roles are generally uh, male dominated in not just uae it, this is a global uh, yes. phenomenon uh, yes. so how how do you think future generations can get involved in technical roles in the aerospace industry to be honest when i compare how the number of the female is still 4% uh, worldwide you can say as a woman in a technical side um within the aviation industry uh compared to the new generation i think it's most important to uh, uh spread the awareness um to show them, as I mentioned previously, what the opportunity they can find and how the growth in, in the industry itself. Today, when we are comparing the huge, the biggest airline in the industry, uh, the biggest manufacturing, uh, the biggest airport, today we are required, within the next five years, we are required more than 15,000 employees, either uh, aircraft engineer, either uh, pilot, either uh, aviation expert, uh, so the most important to raise the awareness is still the new generation. Um, I, I always believe that we cannot prepare the future for the new generation, but we can prepare the new generation for the future. So I think with a workshop, with a training, with an uh, internship program, um, today we can see a lot of Ireland they came back after COVID to uh, put the uh, cadet pilots uh, um, aircraft engineer program, many program it came back after COVID. So it's most important to show the new generation what they can get. And the most important, as I said, it's raised as an expert to raise the awareness and how they can grow in, in this industry. Because today with the new generation, they are fast learning. When you compare, when I compare with my son, he, he's more advanced in technology than me. So I think with the technology, with the social media, with all this innovation, we can um, implement and show them the real aviation industry, what can support them and how can they grow in their career as plus their education side. Got it. Uh, Dr. Suad, uh, which are some of the opportunity areas in aviation where women can grow further uh, specifically in UAE? To be honest, uh, the UAE is uh, the country leading uh, many opportunity for women, not only in the aviation industry, we can see in politics and media and medical. If I will name all the major, all the industry, we can find that a lot of women, they are as a leader. Uh, I think uh, for her uh, to be in the aviation industry, um, any, any career she can choose, any major under the aviation industry. I think today we want to show the woman that if, if she can be in the industry as a pilot, as um, aircraft engineer, she can raise a family, she can be a management a manager in a management uh, field. So I think it's how they start from the first stage to the leadership uh, stage. This is the most important women should understand and they should understand that the environment itself of the aviation industry uh, compared to another industry is different. Where, where I come from, you will not sit directly in the office. You will not be directly um, as a manager. They should understand what they choose, what their opportunity, how they will grow uh, uh, within uh, this career. And the most important, as I mentioned, is the industry is growing. Airline is growing, airport is growing. Uh, if the manufacturing today, when we see, uh, for example, Estrata, high percentage there are women. So I think it's uh, the new generation mindset is being changed compared to many years ago. 
and they are well to work in any industry if they find their opportunity. Uh, doctor, um, you alluded to the part where you mentioned that there is going to be a lot more demand for uh, technical and other fields in aviation. Uh, what is the role of the government in creating an equitable industry in the in this particular field? Well, uh, thanks God we are coming from a very encouragement government and very supportive leader, which today when I said um, uh, this week they announced a lot of program came back with a lot of airline, with a lot of um, university, they've been uh, putting the, where it's those actually program were in hold because of COVID. Uh, and I see today the government, when they announce that high percentage of many uh, uh, private sector should be employee Emirati and especially women, compared to many years ago, a lot, it's less percentage will go to private sector. So. The rules and regulation, um, the support that we received from the government, the uh, and the most important actually is they are listening to us. I, I remember when we implement one of the rules that especially when uh, coming for women to uh, previously when she delivered the maternity leave is just 40 or 45 uh, days. When we've been uh, having this suggestion that we need to be equal to, to uh, the public sector, the three months, the government actually listening to us as a leader in the aviation industry. Today, we find that when we any suggestion come from us, uh, the government actually listening, the leader, they are encouraging, encouraging us and supporting us. Today, one of the, the rules we play that we have a non-profit organization, what it's called Women in Aviation Middle East, which UAA government um, to plus uh, the idea to have this organization with different nationality from different uh, backgrounds, but we are based in UAE to support women, to support girls, to uh, encourage them to study um, any um, major under the aviation industry. And without the placing of our leader in the government, we will never reach this amount today. We are, as a, a non-profit organization, we are 10 years, having more than 33,000 uh, member. Yearly, we give a scholarship, and um, um, and this is what we said that the government they are open the door for anything related uh, to support and success of the new generation and even the old generation. So this is what I said that we are in a country that uh, we are in a blessing and very good uh, government and country that I think it's a role model for many many other governments worldwide. Uh, indeed, Dr. Swad, uh, a government that listens to its people, I think, is only will only inspire other governments to follow. Uh, yes. Thank you once again for your insightful views. Uh, I'm sure we, all our viewers have a lot of takeaways. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Victor. Thank you. Bye.